Hey everybody, just taking a quick look at the new Smart Tempo project settings when it comes to recording MIDI. This is something that we had previously for audio, but now when we actually record MIDI, it can take that information and make a tempo map around what we play. It's still a little quirky, and I'll show you that right now, but let me just play something. Turn off the metronome. Let's go back to the beginning, and I'm just going to hit the record button and play a little bit here. Something really simple like that. You're going to see that it does a tempo here for us. I didn't tell it what tempo. I just tried to at least start. And then from there, I let the rest of it do its own thing. Let's add a drummer track just so we can hear this with drums to see how well it's lining up. So my tempo is actually relatively solid, but you can see now it did make that little difference here. So from 130.1 to 128.2, and now let's put it to keep so that'll stay for the rest for the now. Now this is all fine and good, and it may take a couple times to get used to doing it. Let's actually switch to something else here in terms of drums. What I would do next in a case like this is actually once I have both of those parts, let's turn on the groove track. I'm going to take the drums and make the, the actual keyboard part go to the drums. And let's fix that one note that I did wrong here. Right there. Now, if we want to come in and actually fine tune this, let's put this back into adapt mode for a moment. And down here in our editor, we have piano roll score, step editor, and smart tempo now for MIDI. This is where we can come through, and you're going to see each of the lines have these node points on them. So I can actually come through and make an individual little marker move, and you'll see that it changes the tempo up here. So maybe I want to get a little bit closer to some of these things. They actually all look pretty good. But we can fine tune this a little bit. So you can see down here, there may be a couple points that make more sense in a little different place. And we make those changes. Now the other things we have, so we have move marker, we have scale selection, so we can move everything from either side and it will change kind of like an average move. We can scale left and move right. So that's going to scale to the next main beat or bar downbeat. And then we can do scale all. And then we can move all. Just shift the whole thing. Let's undo that last one. We can also in some circumstances, set the downbeat where it's not the actual downbeat already. So if you play this and the whole thing, say you play on a downbeat and do four beats and then another downbeat, and yet it thinks that the very first thing is on the third beat, well, all you need to do is come in here to one of these and say, no, this was the actual downbeat, and then it will adjust the tempo map for you out here. Once you're done, we go to keep, And one actually kind of cool thing is that if you do play like this and you say keep the tempo, we can actually come now, we can delete some of that thing, delete the actual tempo map, and it will pull all those out. It'll actually change your performance now to not have any of those changes. Mm -hmm. 
so it gets rid of some of the feel that you originally recorded, but this may be better for loops and other things that you're gonna import. Plus then we can change the whole thing like this. So you have a lot of options here now once you have that tempo to the MIDI that you've recorded without having a metronome or other click track playing. Okay, I still think there's more to learn and master here, but the really cool new thing is the Smart Tempo tab for the MIDI, which gives us a lot of power to really get the performance we want. It really does seem to work, especially considering that we can, if it does it wrong, you can set different downbeats and you can really manipulate the analysis here once you have it. It, it seems to work great with some of the other tools we have integrated. Just a really positive direction for MIDI recording. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. Check out all the other videos we have, and hope you're having a great weekend.